would have described the Psyche project as a Wales Ireland collaboration between two universities and four industry partners and we are researching wave and tidal energy in, in both sectors. The Selkie network was one of the objectives to try and pull together resources and talent between Wales and Ireland. So far we've got over a hundred small medium enterprises signed up on that network. By going over to Ireland, by taking our prototype, deploying it in the water, we're able to simulate how the system would behave in an ocean and also compare it with the models and our simulations. With this data, we've actually been able to show very good uh, accuracy and very good consistency with the tank test data and our modelling, which is validating uh, many of our assumptions and demonstrating the benefits that our technology can bring to the floating offshore wind market. And then in the future, when we deploy this unit next to a tidal turbine, we'll be able to see most very accurately the incoming flow and also the response of the turbine to that. And when you put those two pieces of the jigsaw together, with the, the science and the industry coming together, then you, then you can really make progress and develop much better systems in the future. The main purpose of, of these tools is to kind of break down those initial barriers for companies looking to enter the industry, saving time and saving costs. Looking out at this stretch of ocean here behind me, still reveals virtually no information whatsoever on whether or not this is a good area for wave and tidal energy development, let alone project feasibility estimates. Geo information such as that on the local wave climate, current speeds, water depth, seabed character, proximity to nearest port and grid access, protected area boundaries, shipping traffic, fisheries, etc. all need to be weighed up before deciding on whether or not a site is suitable for deployment. So every year we put out a new socioeconomic report. This is data from that. This is a year old. This is all from last year. We're in the process of uh, making the new one at the moment. As of last year, we'd seen about 160 million of investment into Wales from these four technology types and their associated supply chains. Uh, most of that spending has been in tidal stream. About 70 million has been invested into Wales to date. So quite a significant sum of money there. I think the legacy of Selkie will be measured in the, the companies we've helped, the research development that we funded, the open source tools that are available with training and support, and I think it's in the relationships that we help facilitate between business and enterprises on both sides of the IRC. It's the important thing with tidal projects, you can't do it on your own, you've got to bring a lot of very specialised companies together to do it. I think that working closely now, working together to get that understanding of the opportunities in the region now that we are hosting quite significant projects as well as the smaller developers coming forward. We did a data report on innovation networking and policy in the offshore renewable energy sector in Western Europe. The goal of which was to look at the key data and indicators as to what were the barriers to innovation. We designed a unique purpose-built survey and had responses from 215 firms. Now most of the sample are from the UK and Ireland. We also had three masters do theses from this anonymised data. Psyche project over the last four years has designed and developed and updated tools and devices and business and that everywhere from site selection to foundation and mooring even to the business survey that there's something there that could benefit a, a lot of people you know across the supply chain. Key successes of Psyche are our open source tools or research into uh, wave and tidal energy, technological innovation, or business network, and our industry engagement across both Ireland and Wales. Selkie has offered a variety of types of business support, ranging from funded tank testing um, to business diagnostic, as well as uh, an opportunity for some of these organisations to engage more directly with some technology developers from the industry. I think a big achievement overall is that the project completed its objectives um, despite 
the, the lockdowns and the pandemic and the supply chain issues that we've had. So we've achieved our obje objectives and um, got a couple of more experiments in uh, while we were at it.